Hello and welcome everybody back on the interwebs um, with this very special afternoon and evening today with Miss Shuffle. Um, so maybe some of you, or I hope most of you already know Miss TV. Um, it has been a crazy year, but still we did not stop um, doing films, doing movies. And we actually see that the videos and movies have maybe even become more important this year. And sort of, we did quite a lot. And usually we all, always show it in a cinema, we have some drinks and then we have another screening, but these things unfortunately didn't happen this year. So we said, okay, we still want to show you what we did. And we did quite some interesting things. And so this is why we're all here today to show you a very colorful and big mix of what Miss TV has done this year. Miss TV has been to places we have ever been before. Miss TV has done um, kind of productions we've never done before, like art installations. Suddenly it's not about documenting things, but being creative. Um, and we also present a live discussion with experts. And we even present then a video from big filmmakers. I'm happy to be joined here today by two very important people without whom this thing would be just me talking for 10 minutes and then be over again. And um, this event, Miss Shuffle, is presented by Wonderland. Wonderland is a European architect where we have Malene here and she will then shortly introduce what Wonderland is. So this event is sort of part of this Wonderland project. And then um, we will show six projects today that Mies has produced and half of them um, were part of the structure of the Future Architecture Platform. And this is where we have Milan joining us, who is part of the Future Architecture Platform that has given many, many creatives the possibility to do many cool things all around Europe. And Mies TV has been honored to do um, quite a few very interesting projects as well with them. So um, I would like to ask Malena maybe to just quickly tell us what Wonderland is and sort of how we this all came together and also with the movies. Right. Thank you so much, first of all, Arian, and to the entire team of Miss TV for putting this together and for collaborating on this with us um, and for, you know, having collaborated with us um, for several years now. Yes, absolutely. And um, Wonderland is a platform for European architecture. So I'm really glad that our three platforms are joining forces here for this event um, and maybe for future collaborations. Um, and what we aim at is bringing in predominantly young architects, planners, artists from across Europe together um, to um, engage in projects together, in exhibitions, and we have several formats for doing this, for instance, the project space, which is a professional workshop uh, where we um, work on specific issues uh, in certain cities and then also address the city municipalities with our outcomes in order to foster change in these cities. And one of the formats is also Movies in Wonderland, which is the traveling architecture film festival that we launched in 2012. And, um, we are now actually operating worldwide. So um, we aim at bringing together um, various stakeholders uh, within cities, neighbors in specific neighborhoods with planners, architects, artists, and filmmakers to foster a discourse and an exchange on specific issues that really concern um, that specific neighborhood or that specific part of a city or the specific region. And um, we want to bring out the discourse on architecture and urbanism from institutions and from publications into the streets and into public space in order to bring people together and to reach a broader audience. And um, these can be topics like housing or reactivating vacant spaces within cities um, or um, you know, public transport issues. And, and um, we try to address this directly. So the films that we screen are always directly related to the places where we screen them. And um, 
in 2013, we started the um, Architecture Film Sommer, as you mentioned, together with the Architecture Center. And we're really happy about that. We're also really happy that we had the opportunity to actually um, conduct the festival also this year in a very difficult year. But as we are open air and uh, in the courtyard of the Architecture Center, um, we did manage to um, you know, comply with all the regulations that, that were in place. And um, we are actually in the midst of preparing the next uh, edition next year. And uh, we're about to launch an open call again for films. So, um, you know, um, make sure to follow us in the upcoming weeks uh, because we will then launch the call on our website, wonderland.cx, which actually stands for Christmas Islands. Very fitting <laughs> to the occasion right now. And, and um, our, you know, uh, media, social media channels, Wonderland, Movies in Wonderland, and also um, from the Architecture Center site. And um, yeah, shall I say one or two sentences about the movie that we, that we will screen today? Just a very little teaser. So yes, a little teaser. To, um, join us until 7.30, because then you will get even more information of what special guest or like, yeah, special we have for you. Yes, absolutely. So we're very thrilled to present Homo Urbanos Bogotanos uh, by Ila Beke and Louise Lemoine at 7.30 CET, uh, which will be the closing event for today's Miss Shuffle. And um, I'm just going to say that this um, film takes us on a journey through the city of Bogota in Colombia. And we thought it to be quite fitting given the current situation of multiple lockdowns across the globe and yeah, being able to dive into the public space of the city. So it's a very immersive experience and um, make sure to, to, to be there and to participate. Exactly. And information of where and how and what you will see it. Um, join us until 7.30 and then you will get all the information for this. And until 7.30, we will show you six projects that we did. And the first half of them will be our big international projects that we did thanks to the Future Architecture Platform. And this is where we have Milan. And Milan, can you quickly tell the audience what Future Architecture Platform is? Uh, thank you, Arion, for the kind invitation. Uh, thank you and all uh, Miss TV team uh, for organizing this interesting event, but also for the many interesting collaboration we had uh, uh, during this uh, year 2020. Uh, Future Architecture Platform is at the moment gathering 27 uh, established institutions, cultural institutions, all around Europe, uh, and we all together create an infrastructure for uh, professional collaboration and promotion of uh, emerging talents uh, on the in their ideas on the uh, topic of uh, future of architecture and living environment. And uh, the collaboration is uh, is uh, based on we are organizing a yearly call for ideas that. Uh, for the 2021, it's currently, uh, currently ongoing with the topic landscapes of care uh, and all your audience can afterwards visit our website and uh, find more information about how to apply and so on. I'm telling this uh, because that is the way how we get to know each other with the Miss TV. We uh, select your uh, beautiful work and invited you in Ljubljana. Uh, and we met in person, you had the publicly presented your work and that was right at the beginning of the pandemics. No one knew that this uh, will kind of mark the whole year, but uh, on one hand, the Future Architecture Platform is entirely, uh, the program of the Future Architecture the architecture platform is almost entirely based on public uh, events, gatherings uh, through professional collaboration and transnational mobility, none of which was possible uh, because of the lockdowns, the measures, the restrictions and so on. So we are kind of lucky that we had you applying for the future architecture at this point at the time because you came really pandemics ready because you were already for quite some time working on these interesting uh, formats of uh, uh, 
architecture and film, movies, uh, videos, and, and so on. So that came quite useful uh, during this uh, pandemic season uh, that we needed to kind of transform uh, our context in which we operate and also uh, to create new interesting uh, virtual uh, events uh, in order to be present and relevant still uh, in these uh, strange times. So many interesting collaboration uh, from you had the opportunity to collaborate uh, from Lisbon to Oslo to Sarajevo and so on. So we are really grateful and I, uh, I publicly want to uh, kind of congratulate you on uh, pioneering this really interesting field that came up really useful and important even more so in these uh, times of measures and restrictions. So I just want to say to keep up the good work and uh, I can't wait uh, for what is coming next uh, from your side. So have a beautiful event and, and, and evening and thank you for the kind invitation. Thank you, Milan. And like also for you, quickly, what's the website? Um, it, is the future, it's futurearchitectureplatform.org. Uh, also, you can check up uh, the Future Architecture Library uh, with the same extent and the Future Architecture Rooms. You will find uh, many interesting ideas, the, the structure of the platform, uh, the basis on which we operate and collaborate, uh, the newly uh, formed uh, virtual environment that is presenting this complex uh, structure of the platform, the uh, many uh, cultural institutions that uh, kind of uh, received the new opportunity to, to be present and communicate their ideas, their methods and so on, especially in this time of lockdowns, because we are formed mainly of uh, public institutions and museums and all season the museums are locked down and without visitors. And uh, so, yeah, you can find all the information on, on the internet and also on social media, on Instagram, it's the Future Architecture platform and on, uh, on Facebook and so on, so. Perfect. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, Marlene. Um, I think, yeah, the show will now continue with six projects from, I mean, let me think, from Rome, Lisbon, Oslo, Montpellier, Dornbirn, which is a very big city in Austria that no one knows. And <laughs> that we even have a top expert. And then we have this big movie from Beck and Lemoine that we see at the end. Of course, Miss TV did a lot of um, further project with Future Architecture Platform, which were, as Milan said, showing the movies that we already had done and sort of showing our documentaries. And today we will show a selection of our Future Architecture Platform projects. And yes, um, we will now sort of soon start with the next session and we will fly over to Lisbon. So thank you, Milan, for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And I wish us all a good, nice afternoon in this online stream world again. Yes. Absolutely. Minutes, everyone. Bye thank bye. you for the kind invitation and enjoy. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Also from my part. Thanks a lot and enjoy Ciao. everybody. <laughs> bye. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect.
get to know each other. So here we are back and um, we, we saw or like we got the information that our video was a bit robot dancey while the audio is perfect. We talked to NASA already, we're going to send up a new satellite up soon and so the connection will be better. Um, but we continue anyway and welcome to the first session of this Miss Shuffle. A project that we did with the Future Architecture Platform and together with an amazing team together, we paired up to do a project in Lisbon. Um, so we're joined here by Enrico and Claudia from Pais Viagem, and they will soon then also introduce themselves. Um, so at this Future Architecture Platform um, meetup, what Milan said, um, there was the Gulbenkian Foundation Fundacio Calus Gulbenkia, or something like this. So, My Portuguese yeah. is not that good. And they sort of approached Miss TV and so, Pais Viagem for an idea they had. And their idea was to make an online exhibition, even before there was any corona or anything. And sort of we teamed up to do a very special exhibition together. And um, we will now have an introduction video straight from Lisbon, from um, Francisco, who is part of the Gulbenkian Foundation. And he will say a few words of what this project is, and then we will dive straight into the exhibition and who Pais Viagem really is. So let's look at the video. Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Francisco Cipriano. I work here at the Carlos Gulbenkian Foundation in Lisbon. And um, thank you for the possibility of recording this video for the presentation today. I will be very brief. I just would like to say that we are very happy with this exhibition, Stage Nature, that was done by Miss TV and Page Viagem, both um, teams selected from the Future Architect platform. I also would like to say that this uh, exhibition was done in a very, very difficult circumstances. So we were basically uh, at home, we were not allowed to travel. So everything was done by Zoom, Teams, the material was sent by WeTransfer or by Post. We, we did our best to keep working. And, and we did, and the result is amazing. So my invitation for you is to check the exhibition online. Um, 
take your time to see the videos uh, and, and also the, the material that is already on, online. The contents are very, very rich. And, um, and I invite you to, to come to Lisbon as soon as the situation gets better and we can move on with our lives. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day and see how, how, how it work because I think it's, it's a very good one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a nice day. So, um, thank you, Francisco, from Lisbon. Um, actually, I forgot Enrico and Claudia, the team that will say they are, it's an Italian team that's not in Italy. And um, yeah, can you please introduce yourself, who you are? Yes, thanks, Ari and Teresa, for the invitation. Uh, well, as you said, my name is Enrico Porfido, and here we have, on, well, on my right side, I can see on your screen, we have Claudia. And Hi. we are um, uh, friends since the university, and in 2015, we founded this collective that is called Pais Viagem, which was born um, at the beginning as a research, small research group in the framework of our master thesis. And then we gave ourselves this time to travel around the world. So everybody's collecting different experiences, professional experiences. And now I'm based in Barcelona. Claudia is in Paris. And since last year, with the input also of Hydroquida to Platform, we structured a little bit more this collective with other members joined, like Elisa Brunelli, which is Amsterdam. And what we do? Uh, we are a small collective of architects, professional. We, are, we like to call ourselves a professional network which is doing different typology of services, like from consultancy to academic research design. And we work on our passion that are mostly uh, landscape, tourism, and uh, local communities. So we try to mix these three main axes and we try to have fun in doing what our, our um, everyday life, working life, let's say like this. So it was a pleasure to work with, with you this year. We had so much fun also during the lockdown. So I think it was one of the most uh, interesting points, highlight of these last six months. And well, I think we will start now and then we will dive a bit in the exhibition a bit more. Perfect. Thank you, Enrico. And just to make things more interesting and to spice everything up, um, we will now just shortly try to make the stream better and we will be back very shortly. So please stay with us. We just try to make um, this rock.